Hey guys, so By Terry came out with a new highlighter for their holiday collection, and it is called the Twinkle Glow CC Highlighter, and the shade is called Candlelight Glow. It comes in this really beautiful package. So instead of just talking about this highlight, I thought I would go ahead and do like a full face of By Terry. I, I think I have pretty much a full face of By Terry. I think maybe all I'm missing is like eyebrows, eyeliner, things like that. But anyway, we'll fill in with things in my collection if I'm missing anything. Um, but I had mentioned in the Beautylish gift card event recommendations video that I had just recently got their Terribly Densely foundation and was loving it. And I had it on in that video. And um, I had also just repurchased, which I had not had in a really long time, but their concealer as well. So I was really happy to have this back in my collection. I really enjoy this concealer. And many of you probably haven't even seen me use this. So I thought I would just go ahead and do a full face, incorporate a few of the newer things that I purchased, the newest thing that I had purchased from By Terry, and then like sprinkle in some things that I've had in my collection for a really long time. So why don't we get started? I have my face all moisturized. Uh, let's go ahead and go in with the foundation. So what I had mentioned in that Beautylish uh, video was the shade that I got, which is number three Vanilla Beige, while I think the tone is great, it's very neutral, I think it's just a little, like a teensy bit too light for me. So let me just pump this out for you. And I really love this foundation. I love the texture of it. It is uh, like lotion-y, even though it is uh, labeled like an anti-wrinkle serum foundation. I find that a lot of serum foundations are very, very thin. This one is like a little bit more of like a, a typical kind of like foundation texture. So you can see how light <laughs> this shade is. And so what I've been doing is for one pump of this foundation, I will pump in one pump of the By Terry Brightening CC Serum in Sunny Flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this is, it's like a liquid highlight. It is so gorgeous and I love, love, love adding um, this shade. I have a number of the other shades, but I love adding this shade into foundation if I need to deepen it up a little bit, if I feel like I'm going for like a bronzier look. So that's what the concoction looks like <laughs> on the back of my hand, but I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up. So I'm just gonna spread that concoction on. And for a nice light covering all over my face, I do use two pumps of the foundation and two pumps of the CC Serum. So I just did one, so I'm just gonna add another one to kind of finish things off. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so I woke up, opened up my email, and saw that By Terry is having 20% off on their site. So I thought that was really exciting and really good timing for this video. But if you've never shopped on their site, I think if you like, you know, sign up uh, for their mailing list or whatever, you give them your uh, email, um, you'll get 20% off your first order as well. So um, they do like really great promotions, like pretty often. Um, so if you miss it this time, because I think it's only good for probably another 24 hours after I get this video up, um, they do run them fairly often. So sign up for their emails for sure. All right, so there is the foundation and brightening CC serum concoction all over my face. The brightening CC serum definitely, I think, thins out the foundation a little bit. So I feel like I have a light medium kind of coverage. You can still see <laughs> my sunspots. Um, you can still see like a little bit of discoloration around my eyes, but I do feel like my complexion overall has been evened out a little bit. This kind of coverage is like my comfort zone. So I really like this. I think it looks really nice. I think it looks really natural and it is a really nice pairing for the concealer. So this concealer is the Anti-Wrinkle Dark Circle Eye Bag Serum Corrector. So this concealer, I would say it doesn't really have super high coverage. It really is uh, just kind of, you know, like a serum kind of texture. It is a little bit on the thinner side for concealer, which I happen to like. It just feels really, really great under the eyes. And it also, it, it looks moisturizing. It really looks like skincare under the eyes. So I enjoy this and it is a really good match for kind of lighter weight coverage foundations. I have it in the shade number two, Vanilla Beige, and it is, it's pretty light, but I like that it provides a brightening effect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger and tap this in. I think if you use a brush, you'll get just a touch more coverage, but you know, this concealer really isn't about super high coverage. But if you don't have like really intense dark circles under your eyes, I think this just does a really nice job 
brightening, lightening kind of evening things out. And like I mentioned, it just feels really, really nice. All right, and on to powder. So I've got some of the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. This is probably one of their hero products. And they, over the last year, have come out with like tinted hyaluronic powders. So I have number one, Rosy Light here, and then I have number 200 Natural. So 200 Natural is what I use like all over my face. And Rosy Light, number one, is what I use under my eyes. And the best way I have found to apply this powder, because I do think it is incredibly, incredibly mattifying. And because I have dry skin and because I like a little bit of, you know, radiance in my base products that I have to use this very, very lightly and very, very carefully. And so for under the eyes, what I like to do is pick up some of the powder just with my finger. And usually what's on the inside of the cap is enough. And what I do is I press it into the concealer that I just put down whether the by terry one or something else this method has worked for uh, any concealer that i've had and when i press it in not only do i find that it really helps set the concealer down if you're worried about moving or if you need it to last like all day um, i also find that it really keeps it from looking dry yes i feel like i've mattified that area but I really don't think it looks uh, dry at all. And I have found that if I use this powder a little bit too generously, it will kind of start to look very dry. And if I just kind of brush it, you know, over my under eyes, it will look a little bit, you know, dry. And I don't know, there's just something about actually pressing it into the concealer that is like makes a world of difference. So that's how I apply this powder to my under eyes and this, container here will last you a lifetime. As for the 200 natural and applying that to my face, I obviously don't sit there and, and press it all over my face. I will use a brush, but again, I have to be very careful with how much I use. Again, this powder is, I think, just very, very mattifying and I just don't want to look dry. So I pick up just the slightest amount and I just brush it down my cheeks. And that little amount, do you see how it's like pretty much mattified everything. So yeah, I've just learned to be uh, careful and use this powder sparingly. As for bronzer, I have a really light kind of bronzer. This is the Compact Expert Dual Powder and I have it in the shade number four, Beige Nude. This is the one that has the outer ring and the inner circle. The inner circle is like a highlight and this is just a very, very kind of like light natural kind of bronzer for me. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna be well, I'm gonna try and be careful and just get the outer ring. So I'm gonna use a brush that's a little bit more on the pointier side. So I've got the Sonia G Inochige Pro. By Terry Press powders are very, very soft. So it, they pick up really, really easily. And you really don't need to make too much of an effort to try and get product, which is nice. And for blush, I have their Terribly Densilis, I, I think I'm mispronouncing that, but the Terribly Densilis blush in number five, Sexy Pink. <laughs> this is a really, really bright, bright pink. I love it. It's like bubblegum pink. So I'm going to use a light hand with this. And I love how it looks like a cool pastel pink on my cheeks. It's really pretty. It's very brightening, I only have it on this cheek. It's very, very brightening for the face. It's one of those pinks I find very, very like youthful. All right, and on to the new Twinkle CC highlighter. So here is a close up of this amazing packaging. It has uh, like red and silver toned crystals on the top and it's encrusted and it's textured and there's nothing like glittery about it. It's not like anything comes off or anything like that. It's really pretty. And then it has this gold toned edging and base to it. And then here is a close-up of the inside. Isn't that beautiful? It's a pressed powder formula. It's not a baked formula. Here is a swatch of it. So it is uh, pretty warm, I want to say. It's pretty warm and it has a thickness to this powder. It's very, very creamy. And I did want to compare it just to a couple of newer highlighters in my collection. First, I thought maybe it was kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Glow highlighter, I think that's the full name, the one that comes in the big silver compact. 
that one is a little bit uh, cooler and that's the swatch on the right. It's a little bit cooler. The By Terry definitely has like a little bit more gold to it. And then next I wanted to compare it to the new Pat McGrath highlighter, the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in Champagne Gold. And this one is, I think, even cooler than the Charlotte Tilbury. It really is like whiter in appearance when I have it next to the By Terry. And of course, because I thought both of these were cooler than the By Terry, I had to compare these two. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury compared to the Pat McGrath, even though I know we're talking about By Terry, but I just wanted to compare these two highlighters for you guys. And the Pat McGrath is cooler, I think, cooler in tone than the Charlotte Tilbury. All right, I've got my Sony G Sculpt 2 brush. I'm gonna go into the highlight. Picks up product very easily. So even though the Charlotte Tilbury and the Pat McGrath formulas, those are all pressed formulas, the Pat McGrath one seemed the most difficult to pick up on the brush. I think it just is, it's almost like too creamy where the brush, there's like no like fine powder particles for the brush to pick up. Um, but the Charlotte Tilbury and the By Terry, very easy to pick up on a brush. a really nice shine. And that's something that was very similar between all three of the highlighters that I compared. The shine level and I feel like the opacity of the powder, all very similar. So there it is on the cheek. Let me see if it's too deep at all. I was worried that maybe because it was so warm it was going to look too deep on my skin tone, but I think it actually looks very nice. It's very pretty, kind of when I when I turn away from the light, it's not like I see a shadow there. So I think this works for my skin tone. I really do like these highlights that have that peachiness in them. I think they just make them look a little bit, I don't know, I always hesitate in using the word natural for a highlight because this is not natural, but it just always, to me, looks a little bit more natural and like it kind of blends into the skin, I think a little bit better than something too cool and like white in appearance. All right, so there is the new highlight. I like it, it's very, very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and then I'll be back to put on some eyeshadow with you guys. All right, so I thought I would do like a one and done eyeshadow look using one of their Ombre Black Stars, which is, I would guess, probably another one of their Hero products next to their Hyaluronic Powder. But I have the shade Sunny Flash. Yeah, number 22, Sunny Flash. I thought I would use this since that's the Brightening CC Serum that I mixed in with my foundation. So these are the cream eyeshadow sticks. And let me do a swatch of this for you. And these are meant to set down completely. So when using them, I would definitely do like one eye at a time. So I've got my Synergy Worker 2 brush at the ready. So what I like to do is just draw some on not in a very precise way. And then I take the brush and just start to blend it in and kind of like move it around a little bit, spread it out and soften up the edges. Of course, you can always add a little bit more And there, super, super easy. And I think this product is meant to set down completely, but in my experience, they set down like, like 95, 99%, like almost there. I do feel like I can still kind of run my finger over it and get a little bit of pigment, but like, most of it is set down. So that's my personal experience with these eyeshadows. They're so beautiful. I don't really mind that they're not 100% budge proof and that actually makes them I think a little bit easier to remove. At the end of the day, I don't feel like I'm fighting with it. And I also don't feel like it's drying out my eyelid too, which a lot of eye products that are like 100% budge proof, I feel like they dry out my lids a bit. All right, I'm just gonna line my eyes with the Wayne Goss um, Essential Eye Cold Pencil in Rich Hazel. This is like the dark brown one. And I'm just gonna tight line my upper water line and get some into my lash line here. And I'm gonna take my Shantikai Brightening Eye Kajal and hit my lower water line with it. Then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and we'll come back and use a By Terry mascara that I love and have not used in a long time. All right, so I've got my By Terry Lash Expert Twist Brush. So this is 
the mascara that has this funny brush, this tip actually twists. So you can basically like scrunch down the mascara so like the bristles are closer together or you can extend it fully and so that the bristles are further apart. They're also not like helixed in any way. They're just like kind of straight up and down. So this is like the lengthening way, I believe. Yeah, this is like lengthening and I believe this is for volumizing. So I'm going to use the volumizing way first. And then I'm going to twist it for the lengthening and add a second coat. And I like using the lengthening side because I feel like it helps kind of like separate my lashes too because the bristles are, you know, like a little bit further apart and defined. All right, so the eyes are done. I love, 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 as you guys know, just an easy one and done eyeshadow. And these Ombre Brock Stars are so good. I did... I don't know, maybe like a couple, two or three months ago, I did a favorite like one and done eyeshadows and it just completely slipped my mind to do all of my cream eyeshadow sticks. In fact, I could probably do a one and done eyeshadow sticks, my favorites video. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to lips. So when it comes to lips, by Terry for me, just I think of their Bomb de Rose, and I know that's just a lip balm, but they do actually have them tinted, and I have one of their tinted ones, so I thought I would put that on today as like my lip product. Um, but they have like regular potted Balm de Rose lip balm. This lip balm, it's so, so good. I mean, you, you definitely have to like a rose scent and a rose fragrance, but it's so... Um, the rose isn't too like powdery at all. It's almost like almost like a fruity kind of rose. To me, it's very, very pleasant, but it is very present in their lip balm. So anyway, just wanted to mention that, but they have it in the pot. I also have a version that's in their tube with like a doe foot applicator, but here is the one that is tinted and it comes in a pot. And the shade that I have is number six toffee cream. Here is what the toffee cream looks like. So it's like a warm caramel color. And I think that'll go really nicely with this eye look. I do think my cheek, the sexy pink color, is probably a little bit cool for this look, but it is also very subtle. Anyway, let me just apply this toffee cream. And I'm just patting it on. And voila, really easy. It's like the one and done eyeshadow version of a lip product, <laughs> this tinted balm. So not only are you moisturizing your lips, but you're also adding just a little bit of color. I love this toffee cream color, but I believe they have, this is number six. I think there's only six shades in this, and I really want to get one that's like a little bit more pinky, just, you know, just to change it up, just if I want to do like a cooler lip look, but I love this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Full Face of By Terry featuring their new Twinkle CC highlighter. Let me know if you have any questions down below in my uh, comment section, but this is a really beautiful highlight. I really like it. And if you found that the Charlotte Tilbury and the Pat McGrath maybe were just a little bit too cool, a little bit too, you know, obvious, like whitish on the skin, maybe you want to give this one a shot. It's a little bit more peachy and warmer. So it's a nice alternative to like a really kind of like galactic <laughs> kind of highlight. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.